Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have uh, quite a uh, fun kind of pick a card for you guys um, where there is absolutely no subject matter for this one. What I'm just going to do is interpret the cards and whatever messages come up, come up. I do have tarot that I've pulled plus I pulled some oracle. Uh, I'll probably flip them all over at once to see what comes through. What I'm going to uh, do here is I'm going to uh, really try to tap in and channel as much as I can when I'm doing this. Uh, now when I do that, whatever messages come to me, I'm going to say, okay? Even if they don't make sense right away, later there's a good chance that they probably will. Uh, remember, this is a general reading as well, so not every single message might resonate for you, which is perfectly normal and fine because I'm reading for thousands of people here. So, um, you know, take what resonates and leave the rest. If you felt drawn to listen to more than one group, you can go ahead and do so because there could be some messages, you know, scattered throughout all of the groups for you to hear. Um, now, when I channel, it's like, when I'm reading the, the tarot, the tarot cards are just a tool, okay, for me to tap into this. Um, you know, you read the tarot, of course, as you normally do, but if something else extra comes through that doesn't necessarily associate with that card, that's because I'm getting a message and it needs to be said. So there you go. <laughs> uh, channeling for me is like pretty friggin' intense and pretty fucking accurate. If you've been watching and paying attention to some of the things that I've posted on my Instagram, uh, things that I did when I did readings with um, my twin, Ciara, um, basically, um, I've said some things that later on definitely came into fruition. So, uh, you know, take what resonates and leave the rest. That's all I have to say. Um, you know, make note, whatever the hell, because if something feels funny to you and it's like sticking out and you're like, hmm, and you know, you're questioning it or it makes you feel funny when you hear it, obviously there's something to it. So pay attention, use your intuition. Uh, and be paying attention. Now, you take this time to actually calm yourself first before you uh, listen to the messages here and really get centered. Because that when you do that, your intuition is going to fire up and you will be able to pick up on the messages that are most potent for you as well. Okay? So this is about learning how to trust and listen to your intuition, not just what is coming out of my mouth. Okay? So anyways, we have group one with uh, Amethyst, group two with Jade, group three with Smoky Quartz, group four with uh, Moonstone, group five with Carnelian, and group six with Emerald. Okay, so do whatever uh, you need to do in order to um, meditate and you know get centered, and then let's get started. Those of you who picked group one with the Amethyst, this is going to be your reading. Let's see where I'm going to stick this guy over here. Let's see what came up for you guys. Okay. We have the Empress. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands. Why am I shaking? I have the King of Swords. I have the Five of Cups and we have the Moon. Oh, shit. Hello. We have the sixth house. We have Leo. We have semi sextile. We have opportunity. We have blessings. We have Kali, my girl. What's up? We have choices. And then for our tea leaves, we have Owl, good advice from a wise person. We have Ring, a marriage will take place either romantic or in business. Hat, you will be playing a different role, wind chimes, peace and harmony, dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you, gong, an exciting event, and we have February for your month. Okay, I can just tell you right now, I'm already feeling some really fucking heavy duty energy with this group for some reason, where I'm like, like I f I'm fucking shaking. It's really crazy intense. I feel definitely, obviously, some of you are definitely dealing with a uh, Leo. You could be a Leo as well. Um, 
we have the sixth house, which is Virgo's house as well. So we have the Empress and we have Pentacles energy. So obviously there's some earth energy here and it could have something to do with um, your everyday work, what you do, um, service to others. It could have to do with your health. Now, if you look, she's pregnant. Some of you could be definitely um, going into a pregnancy or you are pregnant right now. But what's what's really intense for me is you have a knight of wands and you have the king of swords here and you have that four of pentacles and then you have five of cups which is when you are crying over spilt milk and you're looking too much into the past and not looking forward something is being revealed to you at this time it could be i'm really feeling it's got to do with this king of swords hmm so with the Knight of Wands, this is definitely somebody who is from a different background than you. Jesus, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, the it's so weird, the energy that I'm picking up right now. It is fucking chaotic is the word I want to use. I feel like you guys are being... You've been presented with a choice. And I feel like some of you, you're actually in a bit of a... There's two, two messages and they're coming in hot. One of them is that you guys are definitely, um, you have a, a choice that has something to do with, it's career related, okay? But then I'm feeling like some of you definitely have a choice where it's like a love triangle thing going on, okay? Um, I feel like some of you are actually um, stuck on somebody from your past and you're not, you're like clinging to this, these feelings that you have for this person, but it is actually freaking when you're doing this, you're blocking opportunities and blessings from coming in because you're so afraid to let it go because it's all you have left kind of a situation. But you have a tremendous opportunity for abundance in your life and it's all based on the choices that you make. I feel like uh, for some of you also, you could be getting... This is so fucking crazy. Um, you could be getting some sort of messages. And I honestly, what's coming through is it's not yet, but it's coming soon to you where you're going to be starting to have a bit of uh, kind of like a mini awakening sort of happening where you're going to come into a phase and it could have something to do with something in your chart. It could be the sixth house. It could be the fifth house. It could be uh, something that is semi-sextile within your chart. Something having to do I, I honestly it's got to do with the moon I feel like as well like where your placement is but I feel like that there's some kind of you're going to be going into this phase where look at this this is wild we have crescent moons and then we have full moons right here you're going to be wait you're going to be getting a lot of messages okay uh, via dreams and whatnot. I feel like for some of you, God, I feel like, why do I feel like a lot of people pick this pile? It's really weird because I'm getting so many different messages coming through where there's some people who are trying to decide between two lovers. I feel like some of you are trying to decide between freaking some career opportunity and you're so stuck and you're afraid, like, because you're so afraid to make that step forward and face your fears that you are clinging to something you're clinging too much to the past and you're afraid of losing something by making a choice but really you're blocking a, a fucking tremendous opportunity and shit tons of blessings coming your way um uh definitely if somebody comes along and they do for some reason are giving you some advice listen to it especially if they are um why do i feel like that this is this person this King of Swords. See, the King of Swords is somebody who's very logical. They come off kind of um, a little bit cold, maybe. Um, kind of very serious. But don't let their cool, badass kind of exterior fool you. Because they're actually incredibly vital person to have on your side to have on your team because they give the most excellent fucking advice and they know what they're talking about they've got the goods to back it up okay some of you definitely will be freaking i see in the future here um, like making a move or traveling definitely um doing a little bit of traveling um you might be 
because you have this dog far away and it says a distant friend is thinking of you we have that knight of wands so how many of you are actually communicating with somebody that you're kind of romantically interested in possibly that is because of covid you are not together you can't see each other because you guys are at a distance so uh because of all the travel bans and things like this you guys are not able to get together but i feel like for some of you definitely um for for those of you who are clinging to an ex and the feelings that you had for them or something it's like you need to release that Face the fear of not being able to find somebody else again because we have ring. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. So some of you guys are going to be hooking up with a partnership uh, that's going to advance in your business uh, by making some decent choices here um, and listening to some wise advice. But then some of you are actually blocking the opportunity to have a new relationship because you're too busy stuck thinking about the past. Because I feel like you guys have this fucking tremendous abundance about you but you need to release um you need to release something i feel like also for those of you um who are you're like leaving a relationship behind and going into a new one this one will be much different in that it says you will be playing a different role um it is definitely not like a relationship you've ever had before it's extremely exciting exhilarating um I feel like, you know, it's this total Leo energy here where it is expressive, creative, loving, playful, warm, overt, self-confident, flirtatious. Um, this person is like fucking crazy freaking good looking and it's like to you and um, they're very charismatic um, and very adventurous, I feel like, in many ways. So... Take the opportunity and freaking go for it. I feel like also for some of you, you need to be working on your health right now a little bit more. I feel like in the future here, for a lot of you, you guys are going to be invited to a really exciting uh, event or an, there's an exciting opportunity coming your way. It's definitely going to um, help you to grow um, both, you know, career wise and as well as spiritual wise because it's some it's work that involves something that you really are passionate about and that you like to do i'm going to read this choices card for you guys um because why not this card is about choices it indicates a lot of confusion going on in your life with too much to do and lots of disorganization around you you are doing way too much and not paying enough attention to detail this is a time to narrow your focus choose one important thing to do do it well and concentrate on that thing until it is finished you can move on to the next task one at a time remember slow and steady wins the race only you can control how much you are taking on right now that's so weird because when i first flipped these over i was feeling nothing but like stress and chaos and like fuck because well and that's kind of funny because what this is saying right here it's like fucking confusion and it is a bit of confusion going on here i feel like and you know kali is very chaotic okay in her energy you know she becomes and puts his foot down on her to freaking try to like chill her the fuck out and stuff but she has the ability to cut through any kind of fears cut ties she kind of reminds me in a way of archangel michael with the way that she can slice those energy cords that you no longer need in your life i feel like for definitely for some of you in order to reach these blessings and these opportunities you're gonna have to fucking do that you're gonna have to face your fears you're gonna have to suck up with whatever it is that you're afraid to deal with and you're gonna have to fucking deal with it you're also gonna have to release and open up your heart a little bit more i feel that Definitely the moon phases are very potent for you guys. I feel like um, be paying attention to like your moon, the moon cycles and your cycle. For those of you who are trying to get pregnant right now, I feel like that's a message that came through because there's going to be something to do with that that has to do with your fertility. Don't know why that message is coming through, but it is. I feel like you guys are going to be moving into, once you release these fears and these blockages, you're going to be moving into a much more peaceful freaking time period. And for some reason, it's like February. Some of you could be born in February, uh, but some of you are dealing with somebody who's born in February. But February, I feel like, is a very important month. Pay attention to the moon phases within February. For some reason, that message is coming through too. Um, 
but I feel like you guys have a, a, a lot of opportunities and blessings coming your way, but you have to do this first. You have to release whatever this shadow shit is that is built up in there that you're clinging to, and you have to let it go because you're only harming yourself. And there's, I feel like for, there's some, it could just be one of you out there. There is a freaking, for the, for the, whoever this woman is that I'm picking up on, there's a man and he is like fucking head over heels in love with you. But you're so freaking busy thinking about your ex and he's not very, he's not being pushy, but he's right under your fucking nose and you're not paying attention to him. Okay. He is the one for you and he's fucking amazing. He would fucking do anything for you. It's like the, honestly, the phrase that came through was he would fucking die for you. Okay. But you're too busy wallowing in self pity over some asshole who treated you like shit from the past that you're not seeing what's right there in front of your nose. Okay. That's could be just for one of you out there. I'm just saying the message came through. So uh, there you have it. <laughs> also, like I said, pay attention to what you're eating right now, this group. Okay. Because it does, you are what you eat. That is very fucking true. Okay. You can really change your DNA just by what you put in your mouth. So, uh, if you're trying to enlighten yourself and like tap into some abilities, I feel like you're eating for some reason, this group fruit is very important. Some of you need to add a little bit more fruit into your diet. That's just coming through. Just saying hibiscus tea too. That came through. Roses have something to do with this as well. So, sorry guys, uh, for that last group, I forgot to give you your last little messages here. I'm telling you the energy in this group is like, whew, it's fucking hitting me hard. So Anyways, you have grow. All flowers must grow through the dirt. Exactly. It's like you're going to have to freaking get a little dirty if you want to have something good in your life. Like, in other words, you're going to have to feel like uncomfortable and deal with a little bit of uh, facing things that you don't want to face. You can't hide from the truth. That's the message coming through. Share. The busy bee should still make time for each flower and the freaking people who actually give a shit about you. We have adapt. You will get yourself where you want to be. So in other words, exactly. By adapting, by changing, uh, tapping into and growing, um, you're going to freaking get where you need to be. Okay? It's coming to you. You just have to release those fears and face them. It says major spiritual changes are unfolding. So this is your chance to soar. And we have Amatrine for your crystal. So you might want to work with Amatrine. And it has to do with intuition. This is that moon card right there. So also I'm just going to say, and I'm just going to add, some of you could be Pisces as well. It says, I am fully aligned with my intuition. I trust this powerful wisdom to guide me. So there you have it. Once again, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notification in the drop down box. There's information on how to book a personal reading with me or me and my twin plus Amazon Kofi and social media information. Thank you guys for being with me. I will catch you next time. Okay, Bye. for those of you who picked group two with the jade, this is going to be your message. Hopefully uh, I don't shake as bad as I did on that last group, man. Whew, the energy was just really chaotic. So anyways, we have, oh yeah. Oh, look at this. We have the queen of cups. We have the Emperor, Nine of Cups, Two of Coins, the Sun, <sighs> Travel, Commander Eshtar with Call to Action. We have Diligence, we have Abundance, we have the Numinos with Mystery, we have Aquarius the Innovator, Sagittarius the Voyager, and there's Travel right there, well shit. And then we have Bell announcement. Dog close up pleasure with a close friend. We have a younger man. Ooh la la. Dealings a relationship with a younger man. We have scales. Keep your life in balance. We have shark. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Hmm. We have love. Oh, that's your astral house. This whole thing has to do with love. And then we have December. Wow. Shit. Some of you have found your love. Or you're going to be right now. It could have to do with travel. Definitely you guys need to be patient. Patient and be very diligent in how you deal with things as you move forward. Um, there isn't, you know, a call that you just definitely need to be balanced 
I feel like there's going to be some kind of announcement. Honestly, what I'm getting is somebody's going to announce their feelings for you. They're going to admit how they feel. Some of you could be asked, um, you know, in, somebody could propose to you guys for some of you. Um, could have to do with a younger man. And I'm getting two different hair colors. It, believe it or not, it's the total extremes. We have really dark hair and then we have really light hair. Um... December is obviously a really important, oh, that's so romantic. I got, this could be just one of you, is somebody's going to propose to you in December on Christmas. I know somebody who's actually had that happen, so <laughs> that's weird that that's coming up. Uh, this person is probably an air sign or a fire sign. Could be a Sag, could be an Aquarius. They just could be any of those, like any fire sign though, or an Aries, definitely. I feel like this Queen of Cups energy is your energy, very loving, very nurturing, very kind. Three could be a very lucky number to you. For some reason, I'm getting that. Uh, I feel like that the travel is very important in this relationship. There's something to do with that. They could be from a completely freaking different area than you. I've been picking up a lot of this energy lately. I don't, I don't know why. Um, but I feel like a lot of the people who watch my videos are um, kind of all over. Um, and I'm getting this really interesting message that for somehow through watching these, that we're all connecting together, okay, by doing this. And for some reason, this is actually triggering some kind of chain of events that's going to bring a lot of people and a lot of couples together. Don't ask me why, that message is coming through strong, so yes. I feel like for some of you, you're gonna be very busy coming into December where you're gonna be juggling a lot of different things, but you have a shit ton of abundance. I mean, fucking massive power. I'm getting like tingly vibes off this. It's not negative, it's very fucking positive. You have, a, you're being called. I feel like you're being called to, uh, by your person. If, if you don't know who this person is yet, you're feeling the call towards them. You're feeling their, their power and their energy. Uh, it's very potent shit. <laughs> I feel like, oh my God, it's just bleh, like the tingles I'm getting all over my body. It says, take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. Integrity is incredibly important to this person. They don't like people who fucking shoot their mouth off and then don't back up what they say. They're very much into people with integrity. They they find that very like a very good quality. I feel like this person definitely, it's like they can't get off just on a pretty face. They have to, uh, they're into very um, intellectually stimulating people. They, that's what gets them off. It's like their brain is definitely their biggest turn on. Like, you know, like uh, somebody getting them off with their speech, their talk. Um, being different, being ste out, stepping outside of the box, somebody who's not afraid to um, be very different. Also, for some of you, please be careful. Now, when this says, if this says take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Honestly, I'm not feeling like, um, and it's funny because we got this two of coins and they're like holding the coins together. And this kind of reminds me of the two of cups too, which is weird. But um, I feel like you guys need to be watching your bank account right now for hackers. That is the message I'm getting potent coming through, okay? Um, watch out for that, uh, especially if you're traveling. Just be careful and watch your bank account and watch where you put your money. Like, strap it down fucking to your body. You know what's funny is I thought of that movie Euro Trip, how he has like the little, like kind of like that fanny pack and it's like strapped to him and it's inside his clothes and like under his shirt and that's where he keeps his passport and his money and stuff like that. <laughs> just definitely be paying, do that. And don't let somebody trick you out of your money. Kind of like, well, he kind of lets it happen in that movie. Why am I thinking about that? It's totally making me laugh. Holy shit. He's basically getting blown and, you know, having sex with this chick in the thing. And this guy comes and tries to rob him and he just hands it to him. Just go away. <laughs> you know, it's, it just be very careful. That's all I got to say. All right. <laughs> don't know why that message was coming through, but okay, it was. And I'm just like fucking cracking up now. So, um, yes, I feel like also the people watching this, some of you definitely, some of you could be Aquarius or a Sagittarius or an Aries. Uh, you could be a water sign as well, but I feel, or Leo, definitely. Um, you've, I feel like you guys really are like itching to travel anyway. Okay. I feel like you guys are ready to go explore freaking lands and places that you have never been before. And um, you're like really thrilled and exhilarated and excited to do it. 
I also feel like that there is some kind of mystery element to this, okay? Where there's something that you're going to discover on your travels that you never thought possible. Um, I do see that we have, you know, the unknown, the unknowable, ESP, psychic abilities, the cosmos, universal truth, oneness, source, the unnameable, shadow work, inner knowing, tingling, ghosts, other worlds, space, enigmas, the occult, and intuition. Um, I feel like, bef like um, some of you definitely could be having some of these psychic abilities right now, and you could be picking up on things before they occur right now, because I know fucking A, there's a lot of shit being lit up in a lot of people right now where we're picking up and having prophetic things, prophetic dreams and stuff like this. Um, but I feel like um, you're going to feel tingles. Like if you don't know this person yet, you're going to feel tingling uh, when you get near them or like right about before you're like you're before you're about to meet them. Also, I feel like some of you definitely are into like space, um, studying the stars, astronomy, this this has got nothing to do with well it does but astrology as well but um i feel like you guys could be uh big into like ufo stuff as well or they are uh maybe you guys have seen one hey um or have had some kind of otherworldly kind of experience like that some of you could have passed to the other side before just you're in good company, okay? Um, some of you definitely have a little bit more inner work that you need to be doing right now before this union can take place. But I feel like that there is going to be some kind of, and it says pleasure with a close friend. So you could be traveling with a very close friend and when you meet this person, um, and it's just, it's going to freaking pow, knock you on your ass when you do. This person is probably very... Uh, very eccentric, very diverse, kind of futuristic. I'm seeing that they have unusual way of dressing. They could dye their hair different colors as well, or they could have like, I'm seeing what, what honestly what I'm seeing is they have like really dark hair and the tips of their hair um, is dyed. I'm seeing red and I'm seeing blue, like this kind of blue right here, like the color right here. So they have like uh, like black hair and then like the tips of their, like, cause they have like a long kind of like, they have shorter hair, but it's like kind of long in the front or something. I don't know, it's like weird. And it's like the, it's like the way that it's cut is really fucking cool. And they have like this blue tipping to it. Also I saw red, so like, like as in red, red, you know, like the color red, like red. Um, as well so it could be one of those two or they could have both actually so um anyways you have like a, a shit ton i see of abundance coming to you as well as long as you keep your life in balance it's really critical to be balancing and that's very much like that temperance kind of sagittarius energy as well um is to really keep things balanced because i feel like you have a lot on your plate career wise relationship love wise so it might get a little bit like tense at times because of this but you just need to be patient and keep due diligence and just work through your issues and your problems so we're going to take a look at this abundance and i'm going to read it to you it says this card affirms that despite how things may feel life is overflowing with abundance your hard work has paid off and now it is your time to reap the reward physically emotionally and spiritually you are on top of the world embrace the incoming tide of positive energy go with the flow accept blessings with gratitude and know that you are brimming with abundance and good fortune so obviously this group is uh your message is not bad at all okay good stuff here and i feel like travel is definitely in the cards having a good time getting out there you know, I kind of want to peek at this card really quick because I've never even pulled this card. And I just want to see if there's any extra messages for you guys here through it. And I'm being called to do that. So, okay, here's why. Here's why this is coming up, okay? And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I do in things intuitively. I channel messages and stuff like this. But if I get the message that, hey, look at that then I'm gonna fucking look at it so what it's saying are you ready you guys 
What you wish for will not come about by sheltering within the comfort of your four walls and all that makes you feel secure. You're being called to journey the road less traveled, for the answers you seek certainly won't be found while you're sitting on the sofa. Instead, book that trip of a lifetime. Soak up the fiery sun of faraway lands. Holy shit. Go climb a mountain, bathe in tropical waters, or make that overdue visit you've been promising. This is the perfect time to go and seek adventure and retreat from a mundane world. So be the bold explorer. Go and discover for yourself what's waiting out there just for you. Exactly. Holy shit. And look at this. Look at this. Look at this bird soaring up against, you know, in the clouds, you know, looking down at the landscape below. I mean, seriously, and we've got the freaking pyramids here. We have an airplane right here and the bird is soaring. We have got birds here. I mean, it's like, and the sun, the fiery sun of far away. Mm, interesting. Nice. So here's hoping, cross fingers. So it's either going to be this December or next December. You might want to book a freaking, you know, some travel. Um, depending on what's going on in the world, please, please wear a fucking mask so we can get over through this shit. I am like so over it. How about you? <laughs> so anyways, that, oh wait. I almost forgot these again. Jesus, I forgot them on the last group and had to refilm. So we have patience. Wait for the fruit to ripen. There's your diligence right there. We have dare. Take the risk and fly. Are you serious? What the fuck? I just got chills all over my body. That is so wild. I'm looking at this plane and this bird soaring and it's take the risk and fly. So I guess no matter what, fuck it. Just get on a plane and go, I guess. <laughs> Opportunity. Oh my God. There's no use looking for luck. It arrives at unexpected times. Ooh, interesting. And then we have this crystal for you guys to work with, with awakening crystal, soul awakening. I am awakening to my true essence, and I am a full expression of my soul's vibration. Wow, this is an exciting group. So that's all I'm seeing for you guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notifications in the drop-down box. There is information on how to book a personal reading with me or me and my twin, plus Amazon Kofi and social media information. Thank you guys for being with me. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, for those of you who picked group three with the smoky quartz, this is going to be your reading. Let's see what came up for you guys. Wow, this energy again. What the is going on shit five of cups three of swords ten of wands jesus christ somebody needs to let go of some shit we have the empress again we have the two of cups and we have the king of swords again we have repeating cards here from another group so you might want to go back and check it out hmm we have healing obviously Clearly, we have Lady Portia with Divine Order. We have New Beginnings. We have Release. That goes over here. We have Neptune with Dreams. We have Conjunction with Empowerment. We have Second House with Assets. We have Eagle, Triumph over Troubles and Obstacles. We have Tulip, Great Passion. We have Bull, Do Not Back Down from Opposition, Show Strength and Fortitude. We have coins. Money will be coming to you. Let's see where I'm trying to fit all this. Key. Successful outcome to your problems. And you have triumph over obstacles uh, and stuff right here. So, hmm. And then we have June. So the month of June. Okay. All right, this is crazy because we have some of the same energy. We have Five of Cups showing up again. We have Empress showing up again. And we have King of Swords showing up again. So I feel like that these three are very potent uh, energies right now within the collective uh, in that there's a lot of people out there, clearly, who are way too much wallowing in the past and they're not freaking seeing the abundance that is the possibility right in front of their face. Obviously, there is this King of Swords energy where it is, um, you know, this extreme, like total, like somebody who's very extremely logical. They're not very emotional. They're kind of cold. Um, like once you get to know them, then they open up a little bit more, but they have a very professional exterior going on with them. Um, 
Also, this could be a uh, warning to you guys to just get the fuck out of your head sometimes and you need to stop trying to like put logic uh, to the way you're feeling because sometimes emotions are just that. You need to feel them and go through the freaking the feelings. And I honestly feel like for this group, you guys have some broken heart issues. There's some kind of pain that you're wallowing too much in in the past that you definitely need to fucking release and let go because it is blocking love. It is blocking... Uh, abundance and honestly for some of you I feel like that there is a king of swords type person which I'm going to just say here for this it is somebody who is very much an air sign they're very highly intelligent they're very fucking smart and I feel like the purpose of you guys being coming together now this could be a love or it could be a partnership like a career partnership but honestly I'm leaning more towards the love side because um, I mean well both is coming up really. I mean, you could end up working with this person, then it turns into something more, but I feel like, um, it, it's extremely like abundant. It's like, it's a brand new freaking beginning. It's definitely divinely, it's, it's divinely orchestrated. It's, it's, it's divinely guided and it is very much meant to occur and meant to happen because you're supposed to, this relationship is very healing. Okay. It's going to heal some past karma and things like this. With divine order, it says, do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. So I feel like this person is definitely going to teach you some fucking lessons. And we have this release and we have this healing. Okay? Release. Yes, you need to release this freaking pain that you're freaking clinging to and you keep freaking looking back because you're not seeing. With the five of cups, normally you see, you know, the person's back is turned uh, to the full three cups and they're too busy looking at the two that are spilt and that they've lost. They're not seeing the opportunity and the abundance that's sitting right fucking there because they're too busy stuck like clinging to pain. Like I said for the other group, you're too busy clinging to this pain because it's all you have left. But you know what, in order to have a new beginning, you're gonna have to release these obstacles. You know, you're gonna have triumph over this. You're going to have a successful outcome. If you if you lost something or you lost an opportunity, it's time to freaking realize that that opportunity was lost for a reason. It was lost because there's something better for you out there. Hello? So, you know, stop freaking wallowing in that. Stop feeling sorry for yourself and stop feeling like, oh, I'm never going to have something good again. Because as long as you keep thinking you're never going to have something good again, you won't have something good again. You know, you need to think and shift your focus, okay, uh, to more positive things. Because I feel like you have a lot. See, we have second house here. Damn. Damn. Uh, you know, this is, this is all about assets. This is Taurus's home house as well. Okay. Um, and, and we have Neptune, which Neptune is like Venus on steroids, by the way, you guys. So, um, yeah, this is an intense, intense passion and we have great passion. Okay. So I feel like, God damn, like how you're going to feel about this person is very, it's, it's so passionate that it's like almost like oh my God, you can't believe it's real, you know, kind of a thing. Um, but we have that assets. I feel like that this is going to bring about a, some serious abundance where you're going to up your assets, uh, which, you know, this is material world, possessions, finance, talent, values, solidity, worthiness, wardrobe, luxury, credit score, security, aesthetics. I feel like for some of you, um, you definitely need to be working on whatever your talent is that you have uh, and you know, start putting more like power behind it and start working with it a little bit more. Um, because when you get together with this person, it is like, you know, very empowering, combines with, enhances, strengthens, joins forces, activates, intensifies, authorizes, allies with, concentrates, saturates, overrides, and overwhelms. Like I said, very passionate. Holy fuck passionate to where it's like almost overwhelming it's like it makes your head spin because it's just you can't believe it it's just like oh my god this person uh is really going to help you to heal and i feel like for both of you it is a release of old hurts and old baggage because i feel like you guys have unfinished business so with this neptune dreams it's about imagination memories the subconscious self-sacrifice ideals universal love visions meditation spirituality Compassion, empathy, fantasies, escapism, the ether, enchantment, confusion, veils, and magic. I mean, it's just going to be like the way that you guys work together and the energy and the synastry between the two of you. It, it is like fucking magic. It is like so powerful, so potent. 
I feel like working with green candles might be something that is could help you like if you're trying to focus on some intent with and this could have to do with healing your heart and abundance both because green is definitely associated with both of those things um and look at we have green with peppermint so using peppermint might be uh, if you're into using herbs and stuff for spell casting, that could be uh, a potent one for you to use for some reason. That's the message I'm getting. Using coins, doing a money bowl could be uh, a potent thing for you guys to be doing. So with this new beginnings card, it says a fresh new start is on the horizon. You can almost taste the potential. A time approaches that will see the seeds planted in the past burst forth with new growth. The groundwork is done. You believe in yourself. Sit back and let the universe take care of things. You are ready to transform. Say goodbye to things that once held you back. Relax and enjoy the fresh taste of success promised for the next chapter in your life. Exactly. So, you know, like I said, this is like supposed to happen. All right. It's divinely guided. You guys need to release that pain and heartache, though, definitely, and stop freaking crying over spilt milk. That is definitely a message I'm getting here. Um, I'm gonna, I just kind of want to peek at that healing message to see if there's any other one, any messages like added to here. The last group I felt like, oh yeah, and I'm so glad I looked at it because it was like kind of trippy what it said because it was, <laughs> it was very potent. Oh my God. It's so weird when I, when I'm feeling that it's like, it's crazy what happens here. Um, it's basically talking about happiness. You need to decipher what it is that truly gives you a cheery disposition. This may be through a loving relationship, securing a top job, gaining popularity, acquiring new clothes, purchasing a shiny car, being surrounded by pets or going on a holiday. Yet the key to happiness is to see the joy and perfection in absolute everything, which in turn gives you the buzz of magic from deep within the feelings of elation is what you wish to experience. So focus on the positive and be the one uh, who turns frowns upside down. That's so cute. Get everyone smiling. When you choose happiness, your mood is elevated and you tap into limitless. Okay, so it's basically having an attitude of gratitude, shifting your focus, stop wallowing in crap and start smiling. Because if you look around, you have plenty of things to be happy about. Okay, and there's plenty of blessings that, are, you know, are all around you. So we have hidden depths. Only you can see, oh, you only see the surface. Look beyond. I feel like you're going to get messages in your dreams too, so pay attention. Bloom and attract more than butterflies. Uh -huh. That's weird because we have tulips and we have flowers right here. And this is June and, you know, she's got flowers all over her and it's talking about blooms. Honestly, for you guys, besides June, I feel like fall could be a very potent time for you because of this. Um, serpentine. That's your guys' stone here. Transformation. My life is transforming at the perfect time in the most powerful way. Exactly. Because it is working within that divine order of things to happen. And you definitely... Healing pain and trauma hurts sometimes. But once you release it and you like let yourself release it it's fucking so empowering so definitely do that so um seeing if there's anything else here somebody might try to challenge you in the future just don't don't back down but handle yourself with dignity and grace okay i feel like you guys are really good problem solvers too so you, you guys can work it out. You got this. All right? So that's all I'm seeing for this group. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notifications in the drop-down box. There's personal reading information to book a personal reading with me or me and my twin, plus Amazon Kofi and social media. Thank you guys for being with me. I'll catch you next time. For those Bye. of you who picked the Moonstone, this is going to be group number four. This is your reading. Four of Cups, Six of Cups. Whoa, God, why does this keep coming up for everybody? Four of Swords. So we've got two fours. We have the Strength, which is really interesting because we have the Moon in this card instead of the Sun. 
We have the Nine of Cups with Abundance. We have the Six of Wands with Victory. So we, okay, I'm just going to tell you, 444, four, four, 666, six, six, you know, seeing sixes and fours could be uh, a synchronistic thing for you guys. We have Taurus, the bombshell. First house with self. We have opposition with balance. Damn. We have new beginnings. We have illumination. Wow. We have intuition. We have lighten your load. We have a uh, white eagle with ancestor spirit. And you have psychic ability, trust your intuition. Holy shit. And you guys got the intuition card. All right. We have stork, news of a birth or new business opportunity. We have older woman, dealing to relationship with an older woman. We have shield, you need to defend yourself. We have vase, secret admirer. And then we have October. Ooh. Oh my God, my favorite month. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, obviously, for some of you, <laughs> you're feeling fucking very discontented about your life right about now. Okay. Uh, maybe for some of you, you've been really contemplating uh, what it is you want out of life right at this freaking moment. Maybe you're just not happy with the choices that you've made and where they're going. You're thinking, you're constantly focusing on uh, happier times, like, you know, that nostalgia. I feel that some of you could have been, you know, kind of arguing or fighting with some family members or some friends, but I feel like in the future here, it's all going to freaking resolve because we have truce right there. Um, it's really important for you to maintain your strength right now. Uh, I feel like something is definitely going to come to light to you by tapping into that intuition. I feel like you guys definitely have a lot of ancestors and uh, guides around you who are trying to send you messages, but I feel like you're so trapped in this kind of a cycle that you're not paying closer attention, attention to it. Some of you are starting to pay attention more to it. Um, some of you could be Leos. Some of you definitely could be uh, Tauruses. Some of you could be born in October. It could be a Libra or a Scorpio. But I really feel like there's something that you're very unhappy about that happened uh, in the past. There could have been some kind of uh, loss between you and uh, I'm feeling a friend for some reason here. Um, and it's like you're, you're sad about this. It's disturbing to you. Um, but I feel like it's going to work itself out, okay? Um, but it requires that you maintain, stay strong and stay, uh, I'm getting vigilant in something, in like how you're feeling or your point of view. Um, also, I feel for some of you, um, there's something you need to resolve from your past because once you do, it's going to, you're going to come into your full strength, uh, which in turn is going to set off a chain of events. that's going to bring a lot of victory and abundance to you for sure. Um, this could have to do, uh, with something to do with what's going on with your first house and your, your natal chart right now in uh, tra uh, transition, um, what do you call it? Progressions there. That's what I'm looking for. Um, and transits as well, but it's like, it's really important for you to maintain a sense of balance with things. And I feel like for some of you, you're taking on more than you can handle and it's time to lighten your load a little bit. Also, I feel like that there is some sort of new beginning in the horizon. And once you freaking start this, it's going to freaking uh, bring something to a light. Uh, it's going to illuminate. I feel like it's going to make you shine and people are going to really recognize your talents. Uh, they're going to, you're going to catch somebody's eye. Uh, I definitely see that there's, you have a secret admirer. Um, but I feel like, honestly, there's some, some of you are dealing with some older woman here where it's like you're going to need to defend yourself uh, against this person. Now, this honestly, what came into my mind here and like the message was like mother-in-law. It came in so loud. It wasn't even funny. Um, 
Oh, and here's why. Some of you, it could be just one of you, are about to have a baby. And the mother-in-law is going to try to butt into your life and try to tell you how to fucking raise your child. Don't do that. Don't let them do that. You're going to have to stand your ground. You can do so lovingly. Um, and I feel like... Because this is a brand new beginning in your life. It's a new chapter that's coming in, okay? Um, also, some of you definitely could be... I really feel like this has got to do with family, okay? But I see that you have definite psychic ability and, and intuition. Uh, you definitely need to be tapping into this more because it's going to bring about great opportunities. October, obviously, something really good is going to happen, I feel like. Um, with this intuition card, it says... Psychic and intuitive awareness is all around you at this time. Embrace this spiritual chapter of your life and listen to your senses on a higher level of understanding. It is important to trust your instincts at this time. Even if you don't know where they are coming from, follow your heart, listen to your gut feelings, and never doubt. Heed your own inner guidance. It is important to pay attention to the flashes of intuition that seem to come to you from nowhere, okay? Because they're, I, they're not just coming from nowhere. They're coming from your ancestors. They're coming from your guides. They're trying to freaking talk to you and tell you, hey, pay attention. And what's really interesting is, you know, she's holding feathers right here. He's got, you know, the feather headdress, of course. Um, and this says, connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. Holy shit, yes. And it could have, honestly, for this stuff that's going on right here, and I'm getting total chills, so yes, I'm on the right track here. Uh, it could have to do with your mother, okay, or a mother-in-law or a grandmother, where there needs to be a wound heal, uh, you know, Something needs to be healed from this past. You need to put your foot down about something for some of you, but some of you just need to forgive yourself uh, with how uh, you may never ever come to terms with this person. So you need to just forgive yourself for even, you know, feeling bad or sad, you know. Um, forgiveness is really, I'm coming. it's coming through hard here, okay? Um, but I feel like by putting your foot down, it's going to illuminate a lot of things and a lot of things are going to come to light and maybe just conversing or saying how you feel is going to bring you're going to learn a piece of information about this person that might make you think of them in a completely different way it might actually oh yeah here here comes the i'm getting almost like gaggy feeling um it might actually make you realize mm, oh god i need a drink of water here we go again mm -mm. You're going to learn something so fucking potent about this person that it's going to blow your fucking mind, okay? That you're going to think of them in a certain way. Now, there's two ways this can go. It's either you're going to, like, break down and you're going to cry your guts out because you can't believe that this person actually endured this shit and they went through such a traumatic, horrible thing and they never fucking told anybody about it, but you're going to find out about it and it's, like, instantly going to bond you with this person. Or you're going to find out something so fucking horrible, ratchet, fucking nasty about this person that it's never, you're never going to be able to look at them the same way again. But honestly, I'm feeling like honest, what's coming to my mind first, and it's like making me gag, mm, something really bad happened to this person when they were younger. And uh, it's like almost like, mm, I don't even want to say it because it's like making me want to throw up. Mm. Last time I felt like this, I fucking predicted COVID, so... Ugh. Um, I feel like this person was raped. Okay, I'm just going to say it. I know that is a very touchy situation, but they never said anything about it. And it could be the person you're with. That could be the child. Uh, and it was a secret that was covered up for a really long time because, yeah, just saying. Okay, that is, and it's, it's going to change your mind. You're going to freaking, because of, I don't know. It's just going to be this bonding thing that occurs because you, you're you never going to freaking, you're never going to doubt and you're never going to, this person's going to be so grateful that they could get it off their chest with you that you guys are going to become very close. Um, also, I feel like for some of you, there is a need to defend because like I said, there could be a baby coming or something and this person is going to try to tell you what to do and you don't need to be fucking listening to that. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm sorry for even bringing that subject matter up. It's just, it's the message coming through. You know, don't shoot the messenger, okay? And that, seriously, I was like wanting to throw up there. That was just like so emotional. I couldn't even fucking handle it. I wanted to barf. Okay, so with this Taurus bombshell, like I said, you could be dealing with a Taurus, somebody else, 
or you're a Taurus, your person is a Taurus, your friend is a Taurus. Interesting stuff coming through this, this group. Whoa, shit. So I feel like for some of you who are the pregnancy thing, because we have fertile being mentioned here. Okay, there is some serious fertility in this group. Okay, with abundance, material-wise, also with straight up just having, being very fertile. Um, we have loyal mentioned here. There's a lot of loyalty. With the, with the person I was, that went through the traumatic thing, I feel like that they are going to be extremely loyal to you because of being able to confide in you for some reason, okay? Um, first time, and I feel like you're loyal to them because you're a loyal, trustworthy friend or, or, you know, family member. So we have first house with self, physical body, outlook, self-image, life, philosophy, consciousness, opinions, awakening. God damn. <sighs> Self-awareness, arrival, expression, gateway, and entry point. It's really important for you guys to maintain your self-image at this time as well. Um, make sure that, and also for some of you, definitely could be going through an awakening as well, okay? That's mentioned there, and it could have to do where your intuition is going to be on fire. Could be happening around October, the month of October. Um, but, you know, I feel like it's definitely going to open up some kind of opportunity, a new beginning, a gateway for you, um, where things are never going to be the same again. And it is very abundant and very victorious where you're headed, okay? Uh, we have opposition with balance, relates, mirrors, interacts, confronts, makes conscious, manifests, disciplines, conflicts with, tests, objectifies, and calls out. <sighs> Just maintain balance, you guys. Maintain balance with everything. Maintain balance with your uh, work life and make balance with your family life. It's really important at this time. So we have, oh my God. I was talking about, it's this physical body outlook and self-image, right? And I was saying you guys really need to be paying attention to your self-image. Also, I feel like you guys need to be taking care of your health. And that's interesting because we have self-care. Tend to your garden. We have listen. Be alert. The soft chiming bells call to nearby fairies. Hmm. Be alert. Soft. So you might actually like have some clear audience abilities that are going to awaken as well. And you're going to be able to, like you might hear ringing in your ears before something uh, really uh, important is about to occur. Okay. Uh, be paying attention to that. I want to take a look at this too. Strength. Uh, don't let weeds and thistles cultivate in your garden. Yeah, exactly. Uh, watch out for some people who are kind of dicks or shady. Um, they, you don't need them in your life. Release them. Let them go. Lighten your load. And then we have Amber. Holy shit. What? Okay. This is Ancestor Spirit. And we have Amber Ancestors. My ancestors are guiding and loving me now and always. I'm open to receive their support and wisdom. So uh, Amber is your stone here. Or it's, it's actually not a stone. It is petrified tree sap. It's also known as Freya's Tears. So, um, But with this lighten your load. I honestly feel like it was weird because I was talking about like them being able to, this person like being able to lighten their load by like releasing um, something that they've been holding in intensely for fucking years and years and years. Maybe for some of you, definitely you guys need to be doing this as well. Lighten that load, you know, let shit go, release the freaking past, definitely. Um, hold on. Oh my God, you guys. Yeah, and it's so weird because I've been getting, I, the first group I didn't do this really, um, but for, I'm getting these hits, for especially for this deck for some reason in these readings where it's like, look at the message, look at the message. And it's like, it, it keeps coming up to me. So uh, you have the choice and power to remove yourself from a st stressful situation or simply take it in, in your stride. Stress is completely voluntary and something we allow ourselves to feel, even if this may not seem to be the case as you face the responsibilities that your life demands. Give your exhausted and tortured mind a break as you start to see things with a brighter outlook. Lighten your load and allow laughter to break you free from your self-imposed prison cell. It's the only way to strengthen your immune system and inspire hope while protecting you from the damaging effects that stress has dealt you. 
So, and you got strength twice, you guys, I just realized. So it is really important that you maintain your strength right now, take good care of yourself. If you're going through a stressful situation, okay, maybe, you know, because there's some kind of argument or some kind of battle going on, don't let it freaking get to you. Call on your freaking ancestors. Call on those guides around you. And I'm getting tingles again. Really be paying attention to your intuition and lighten that fucking load and let shit fucking go. You guys, let shit fly, okay? Remember, October. So anyways, that's all I have for this group. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notifications. In the drop-down box, there's information on how to book a personal reading with me or me and my Pisces twin plus Amazon, Kofi, and social media. Thank you guys for being with me. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Okay, for those of you who picked group five with the Carnelian, this is going to be your reading. Had some pretty interesting stuff come up so far in these. Let me tell you, Ugh. potent, potent stuff. So anyways, we have five of wands. We have the king of cups, hmm. queen of swords, seven of wands, Jesus Christ. We have the hermit, knight of cups, and the nine of pentacles. Um, oh, wow. We have love. We have focus. We have reconciliation. We have Saint Germain with karma releasing. Dude, this guy is a trip. Uh, we have Mars with action. We have sextile opportunity. God, this is coming up a lot. We have the fourth house with roots. We have Chiron with healing. God, I don't know if I have enough room for all these. Jesus. We have hibernation, <laughs> the hermit. We have with your tea leaves. Jesus, you guys got a lot. This group is mouthy as hell. We have hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. We have woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. We have turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. We have feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. We have fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. We have basket, recognition, a reward for merit. We have rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross, Jesus Christ. We have lion, time to act, action. Wow, look at that, you guys. We have flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. We have your subject matter is wealth. And we have the month of April. Well, obviously some of you are going through some kind of fucking battle right now and your defenses are way the fuck up. Um, Oh God, I want to say some of you could be going through a freaking a breakup or a divorce. Some of you could just be dealing with a freaking job where it's like you're constantly freaking on debating or there's some kind of something going on. Uh, honestly, the first thing that came up to my mind was government for some reason. Um, some of you might actually be a government contractor or work for uh, you know, some kind of local government even or something. But I see that there is some kind of conflict going on there. Um, we're dealing with people here who we have Virgo, we have water signs, um, all the water signs. We have air sign. Maybe a little bit earth. Okay, obviously we have Mars. We have Cancer with the fourth house. We have... Mars, which could be Scorpio or um, Aries. There's obviously some healing that needs to occur here because there's some kind of, and we have, we have love and we have focus. So I feel like for some, and there's a reconciliation here. So some of you could just be going through some kind of freaking uh, shit, like with a relationship where it is going to be reconciled. And it's really important that you guys need to focus, stop focusing on the outside world, but look at what's just going on between you. Keep everybody the fuck else out of your shit. 
because I feel like this happens a lot for a lot of people is they let other people influence their relationship. It could be freaking family members. It could be friends who try to freaking put pressure on the couple because they're jealous or they just, you know, maybe like a family member doesn't like the mate that you choose or vice versa. And it's like, they try to butt in and fuck up your relationship. And there is actual natal chart placements that show this. I had this freaking placement with my current, current freaking man. So it's like, um, yeah, people did try to fuck with us like that when we were first together. Now they leave us the fuck alone because they know they're going to lose. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, you could, you could have actually a placement like this, but it's really impo important that you maintain your focus on each other and love. Also, I feel like for some of you, there is some kind of reconciliation that's going to occur between you and another person. Um, you could have like broken up with somebody and you'll probably get back together again here. Um, like I said, it, I see uh, males that are uh, water signs and females that are air signs and earth signs. So if that means anything to some of you, um, you could just be reconciling with a friend. Um, but I see that there's like this freaking fight, this period of freaking debate or something like for the relationship stuff where it's like you had to freaking leave and retreat and go within. Um, uh, also, I feel like for the people that had like a break up, there is this potent other person coming through here. But this is a slow burn. And it is definitely, um, you guys are really close friends uh, you could have been friends through this whole entire time, but that now like this other person's getting out of the picture, they're like, he, 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 I'm coming in now, you know? And, and that's because they've had their eye on you from the beginning and they're going to come in and guess what? The result is a fucking fuck ton of material abundance between the two of you, but it is very stable, very earthy, kind of grounded kind of a relationship, yet it's potent as fuck fuck with strong emotion and passionate love in this situation. Uh, I feel like there was passionate hate in this other situation, but it's like, now this is like totally fucking passionate. And this isn't surprising because we have this Mars action, desire, impulses, courage, force, heat, strength, competition, workouts, excitement, thirst, impatience, anger, leadership, engine, potency, willpower, motor, and sex drive so this person has a fucking gnarly sex drive okay uh but it's like this is the best opportunity for you it is going to bring this is the person you end up roosting with like you know a uh, nest it becomes your family um you guys are going to probably grow, buy real estate together. Uh, it's very rejuvenating being with this person and it's very healing okay um and it's funny because amends is uh, written here and we have reconciliation. Uh, and also I feel like that there is this person that, you know, from the past for the relationships people, you know, there is definitely karma that needed to be released there. Okay. So it was like, you know, meant to happen. It was supposed to happen in order for you to learn so you can actually have a stable relationship, you know, with this other person. They could be a Virgo or a water sign. Um, and it says move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy, okay? And, you know, I feel like this person is somebody you could definitely like, who, like the synergy between you two is very good. Um, also, for those of you who uh, could be moving on to a new career, where it's like you're moving into a career that it's like you're extremely passionate about and it's very creative and you're tapping into your creative talents and it is extremely lucrative and you will be very comfortable uh, with how much monetary, you know, money you're going to get from this. Okay. Um, it's really important to maintain focus though, and really freaking come from a place of love in dealing with all of these situations. Every one of them that I've mentioned, it's really important to do that. And it's funny because we have this cacao chocolate and we're going to look at this. It says hibernation. See, cause look, look, you have wealth and you have that nine of pentacles right there. So yes, it's like, it's fucking filled with wealth. You have a fucking lot of wealth and abundance coming to you. Um, as long as you're coming from, you keep focus and you maintain, you know, coming from a space of love. I really feel that way. <coughs> so with this cacao, it says this card signifies the importance of spending time alone to hibernate and hide away from the world. Delve into the raw aspects of life that prove difficult and confusing. Don't worry about what others want or think because right now you need to be honest and authentic with yourself. 
be the hermit, recoup, uh, regather and rethink. Uh, take time out to be alone. Take a walk in the sunshine, stroll along the beach or visit a park. Clear your head, turn off the telephone and all other technology and just be. So this is really important in healing, okay, that you need to be doing this. Obviously, April is going to be some kind of potent time uh, for you. You know, time to act and it's because we have action. It's really important that, you know, if you get handed an opportunity that you're going to freaking act on it right away because when you do that, it's going to bring you a ton of wealth and stability, okay? Um, also, for some of you, you could be going through a struggle with um, somebody. Yeah, I feel like because this is family. Um, you know, it could be a, a struggle within the family. You could be, uh, some of you could actually be reconciling with a, a sibling but I feel like, you know, you're going to get rewards. But because, I mean, I feel like for somebody, uh, for some of you in the past, you had somebody undependable and insincere. You know, disappointment in a friend or lover. Okay? We have women, so for those of you who are dealing with a woman, this could be dealing, you know, if you're a masculine or just, you know, same-sex person, you know, marriage person, then, you know, Yeah. <laughs> dealing with a woman there but I feel like you know by taking and this is kind of interesting it says taking a, a vacation physically or mentally we have the hermit and there you go with this hibernation and this so I feel like getting away from it all is probably a good idea whenever you can get the chance to and you know because you're going to be dealing with some fucking stupid ass people and some arrogant bastards um, which isn't surprising and you know for those of you that's got to do with career this is leaning towards career then the way you handle yourself in this is going to be instrumental in like success later on and bringing you more wealth because you're going to be recognized and rewarded for not being a douchebag basically <laughs> in like how you handle yourself by handling yourself like a you know a class act and it says time to act you know, time to act classy, I guess, in this situation is probably a really good idea. Um, yeah, interesting stuff. So let's see what else you guys got right here. Change. As with the falling leaves, embrace change. Interesting. So fall is also another potent time for you. It's kind of funny because we've got turkey right there. So I think November might be a freaking important time too because I mean you you do have April I also feel like this Leo season is gonna set off a trigger of events a chain of events okay we have transform rise above any situation and become the best version of you holy shit what was I saying exactly that's freaking wild and then we have release lighten your load that is fucking weird because in the last group I pulled a card for them and it literally says lighten your load. Wow. I, it's crazy how this happens when I do reading sometimes. So it's just like one builds on the other. And so then your stone, you guys, is fairy stone. Good fortune. I am open to receive all the goodness that the universe has to offer me at all times and in all ways. Because look, wealth, you got that abundance, you got hotties coming your way. This is a really weird fairy stone. Okay, I guess this is probably... This is not my fairy stone from where I, because we have a park here where I live called Fairy Stone State Park. And you can dig fairy stones up. I actually have done it. But these looks, this looks like it's probably from overseas somewhere. I'm guessing Europe, maybe. Um, that's the way the fairy stone looks there, but it's not how they look here. So, <laughs> anyways. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I'm seeing for this group. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notifications. In the drop-down box, there is information on how to book a personal reading with me or me and my twin, plus Amazon Kofi and social media information. I thank you guys for being with me, and I will catch you next time. Bye. For our last group, for those of you who picked the emerald, this is your message. And yes, this is an emerald. This is what they look like when they're raw, basically. Interesting, huh? And it's funny because this side is more green than this side. Also, I know with emeralds, it's like, depending on how much um, heat or ra uh, radiation um, or sunlight, I think it can actually change the color of an emerald, which is interesting. So, um, 
what came up for you guys. So we have the Page of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. Mm -hmm. We have the Ace of uh, Wands. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Sun. We have the Three of Cups and the Chariot. Dang. We have, what else came up for you guys? We have Prosperity, Spirit Guide, Mikhilzadek with Higher Learning. We have Truth. We have Blessings. We have Inspiration. We have Saturn with Wisdom. We have Jupiter with Expansion. We have the Fifth House with Passion. And for your tea leaves, let's see what came up. We have Tent, Temporary Situation. We have Throne, Position of Authority. We have bear, danger, especially in muddy matters. We have sun, again, we have sun twice. Happiness and well-being. We have harp, great happiness. Jesus, you got that twice. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. What? And we have higher learning. We have truth. We have blessings. We have wisdom. We have uh, you know, wiser, this is crazy. And we have the chariot here with the journey. And then we have January. So this is your month of the year is January. Wow. Okay. You guys definitely, I see for some of you, uh, you're going to start working for yourself or you have started a journey where you are working independently on your own. I feel like that you guys could be working in something to do with IT, could be something like uh, some kind of design, uh, or something where you've, you're working through problems or you're figuring out problems solving for somebody and I'm feeling gaggy again, damn it. I must be on the right track. Ah, oh, Jesus, the energy today is fucking wild. It's really important because this is a brand new beginning for you, it's a brand new start for you. It's very, very important that you continue to persevere because I feel like this group has been through some shit you guys have been through some you've, you've been through some massive shit where you've had a lot of changes you could have had people who fucking backstabbed you in the fucking past you could have been uh you could have lost like I feel like you guys have been through a dark night of the soul maybe you could have lost your job you could have lost a whole lot of shit and felt like oh my god I'm never gonna fucking overcome this or whatever but you do and you're starting afresh now. I feel like that you've already been through a bit of that phase, and now you're starting uh, new. Could like and it's very something very creative and very uh, you're very passionate about it. Um, it's going to be very prosperous. You definitely have guides who are watching out over you, and it's really important that you maintain a level of higher learning. Some of you are just moving into this phase. You could be right here where you're going to start like higher learning, like going back to college. Um, university. Uh, you have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. So I feel like for some of you, you could be starting fresh. Like you could just be starting your career. Um, for some of you, I really see it's very creative and you're super fucking passionate about it. But it's really important, no matter what obstacles come your way, that you fucking persevere and you do the thing and you just keep chugging along. You're going to be fine. Just keep your, keep your strength, keep your focus. Um, uh, and cause you have the sun here. Okay. That's like one of the best friggin' tarot cards that you can get. Um, God, I've had the sun come up a lot in these readings. This is kind of crazy, but, um, and we're, and it's so weird because we, we just went into Leo season. So, um, this is the beginning for you. I really feel like it. You have a lot of prosperity. As long as you maintain that higher learning status and you keep doing that and you keep chugging away at that, I do see that there is some kind of massive, like, um, you have a lot of, there's going to be some kind of event um, that you attend or something in the future where it is going to be very integral in some sort of process that's going to set you up for a lot of fucking blessings and a lot of prosperity. Uh, it, it has to do, um, also I'm going to say 
The more you know and the more you have wisdom to back up your actions, the better for you. It's going to work out much better for you that way. Uh, I do see that luck is definitely on your side because Jupiter's here and we have fifth house. So I feel like this has to do, you know, whatever this career is, it's definitely very social oriented um, where, you know, you, you could be doing like something with public re relations or it's like starting a company where it's like you need to get out there and you need to socialize and you need to network a lot. And I do see that you're very passionate about it. And it is, um, it is freaking very much creativity focused here because we have performance, entertainment, creativity, costume, play, love affairs, passion, pleasure, parties, children, humor, uh, romance, and disco ball. So you guys could definitely be doing something that has to do with like some kind of like, uh, I'm just going to say wedding coordinator came up, a party planner, somebody who plans events, um, some kind of business like this where you're setting something really uh, special up for people. I feel like you're going to be dealing with a lot of people who have money for some reason. Um, I also feel like you're, you're very in, uh, inspired, okay? Like it... it something is going to really triggered your inspiration. And you're like, yes, let's do the thing. Um, with this inspiration card, let's see. It says, this card comes as a good omen. Feel confident in the knowing that your spiritual, emotional, physical, and financial needs are all being met. Nurture your confident nature and consider the more specific changes that you would like to see in your life. Start writing a list. Vision... Um, Vision the change is already taking place. This is a time of great manifestation, so start to think big. So for those of you who are um, inspiration boards, like any kind of like things like this, I don't know if you guys use Pinterest, but um, who doesn't like to go on there and look at all the eye candy and create like vision boards and stuff? This could like help you to plan things, um, to create. Uh, I feel like, I really feel like that there's a lot of creative potential here where you're doing things that's just like, God, it's just amazing. Like aesthetically pleasing is coming up for some reason. Okay. Um, I feel like there is some sort of travel that is involved. You could be trying to go to school overseas as well. I'm picking up that big time and it is going to leave you wiser at the end. Um, I see it. It's just like you got like a lot of fucking blessings and happiness coming your way. Whenever I see this harp, I always think of Ireland for some reason. Um, interesting stuff and we have january here but we have this danger especially in money matters okay and we have a temporary situation we have position of authority so you might get some put into some position of authority and this is talking about danger especially in money matters just be very careful if you are put in charge of any kind of money okay be very careful with who's going around it pay double check dot, you know cross the t's dot the i's just make sure everything is running smoothly with that Okay. Also, it's just, uh, I feel like watch out for somebody trying to thieve from you. This, you know, talks about being independent and working on your own. It talks about when you meet somebody having the same exact, um, you know, hobbies or likes and you, you, you jive really well with somebody, but it also can talk about somebody thieving and stabbing you in the fucking back. So be very careful about people trying to steal your ideas or stealing money from you. Okay. Just, you know, I also feel like that there is going to be some sort of temporary situation that you're going to have to deal with. And I think that this has to do with COVID. If you're trying to go to school, don't worry about it. Eventually you're going to get back into the freaking swing of things and you'll be able to go uh, to your college or, you know, your university or whatever the hell it is. Um, and move like for some of you, I feel like move forward with your career actually. So with Jupiter, it says generosity, benevolence, uh, enthusiasm, beliefs, luck, seeking travel, positivity, lectures, foreign cultures, teaching, pilgrimage, chance, expansion, leaping, exploration, and potential. Exactly. And you have this long journey, you know, and we have the chariot. Oh yeah. This is like, you guys are traveling probably someplace, you know, far for, uh, what you're doing for work. And, um, also for just like schooling, you know, we have wisdom with Saturn, discipline, structure, time, responsibility. Yes. We have position of authority, okay, and discipline, structure, responsibility, tests, 
ambition, difficulty, restraint, grounding, practicality, self-control, tradition, realism, container, bones, maturity, gravity, and scaffolding. It's really important that you maintain discipline and you freaking uh, use some restraint and you make sure you're grounded and practical and have self-control at all times, okay? So, um, you know, with truth and blessings, it's like, it's really freaking honest. You know, you need to be honest, okay? At all times, be honest with yourself. Speak your truth. Don't fucking have integrity, okay? Um, definitely don't bullshit people because if you do that, it can come back to backfire in your face, I feel like. Um, let me take a peek at that. Yep. Yep. It says, be honest with yourself and speak from the heart. Find your truth. Listen for what is sincere and honest in others. One of the most difficult things to know is what's true for you and what isn't. Sometimes it takes sincere silence to find the inner voice of truth. But once you find it, let go of anything in your life that isn't authentic. Share your truth with others. Release relationships in which you can't be yourself and can't be real. Being genuine can allow your spirit to fly and the song of your soul to be heard by the universe. And that's interesting. It's talking about the, you're the song. So some of you actually, uh, how many of you are singers? Because it's talking about song. And we have all this talent, you know, with the fifth house. So you could have a stellium in the fifth house. Oh my God, I didn't even realize that. Whoa, that just made me think of something. I live with somebody with a fucking stellium in the fifth house. Uh, he's got a fuck ton of planets there too. Wow. Mm, interesting. So, uh, yeah, that's very, very interesting. I feel like you guys could be very talented too. Um, you might do something with singing as well. Just saying, cause that's coming up and we have the bird and that's what, you know, I'm seeing that bird there. Um, hmm. let's see what that has to say. Where is this? Hmm. Oh my God, this is fucking wild. Okay, and I felt like, okay, let's take a look at this and see what it has to say. Look, we have Mekilzadelk with higher learning and you have spirit guide, right? Okay, and you know, it's talking about the song and uh, also Claire audience is coming up for this group. So some of you might be Claire audience, but this right here, immense blessings are emerging into your life from those in spirit, angels, guides, and spirit guardians are watching over you and you got spirit guide. What the hell? <laughs> Be open to the voice of the divine. Messages are all around you. You are protected. You are safe. Have faith that your path is guided. Watch for signs that spiritual beings are present. Profound healing energy is flowing to you in wondrous ways. Refreshing, replenishing energy is filling your life. Wow. And then we have prosperity and we have spirit guide. That is wild, you guys. Ugh, wow. Okay. And for prosperity... You know, it's, it's talking about like, you know, you're wondering if you're ever going to reap the benefits of what you've been working your ass off for. Um, you know, it's talking about staying calm because it's all coming to you. It is coming. Okay. Um, you have a lot of that abundance around you. You just need to freaking believe and, you know, keep due diligence and keep working at it and chugging away and you're going to be fine. Uh, with that spirit guide, you know. Obviously, you guys have loved ones and spirit guides who are protecting you and guiding you. You might actually be doing something that is actually a family, part of your family lineage. So whatever it is that your talent is, it is coming from uh, an ancestor that you have this talent and you're meant to share it with the world for sure, I feel like. Um, so we have retreat. Never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. So this is really important to maintain your focus and your creativity is sometimes you have to like just back away and retreat a little bit um, to get more inspiration. We have forgiveness. A crushed flower still gives off a sweet scent. So um, I really feel like make sure that you, if you ever like butt heads with somebody, Forgiveness is part of your healing process, I feel like. So if there's some kind of forgiveness you need to give to yourself or someone else, it is important to do so at this freaking time. We have breathe. Slow down and contemplate the tea. Uh, wait, slow down and contemplate the tea, violets, and ivy tangled around the eaves. That's interesting. Hmm. 
So, and it's interesting, we have retreat and we have breathe. So I feel like for some of you, meditation is probably a really good idea because it could help you tap into your creativity, okay? Uh, and then we have your, your stone. This is interesting because this is a stone of like heart chakra healing. And it also has to do with wealth and abundance. And this is malachite, okay? Healing. I am, he I am a healing machine manifesting miracles. And also this has to do with Monday. So if you're doing any like, you know, anything having to do with like business, like this is a good uh, stone to have. Um, like around, like keep it, keep it near your person when you're working on um, your business or whatever it is that you do. Um, it's a good, it brings abundance. So let's see what else, anything else I'm seeing here. I feel like you guys are definitely on the way to a lot of freaking happiness and you have like the sun shining down on you for sure. Um, and you have great happiness and a lot of potential. And um, I feel like for some, your success definitely could have to do with foreign cultures and also um, because you, you travel overseas. And then for, for those of you who are studying over abroad, it's, it's a good idea. So anyways, I feel like you guys are going to go far. So that's all I have for this group. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notifications in the drop-down box. There's uh, personal reading information to book a personal reading with me or me and my twin, plus Amazon, Kofi, and social media. Thank you guys for being with me. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.